Hello, welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm here to do the monthly reading for the sign of Pisces. This is a general reading which may or may not resonate with you on a personal way, um, just to put that out there. And um, this is for the month of February in the year 2019. This is for Pisces. This is also a, for those that are new, a five card spread. First card is your overall energy. Second card is your wealth and finances. And uh, third card is your hearth, your home, love. Fourth card, should there be any challenges for the month, they'll come up there in that position. And your fifth card is your message from the spirit. This reading, all readings of Bay of Fundy Fortunes are always for your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon signs as well. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck right off. I'm going to consult with my pendulum Lilith. Lilith are the top five cards as this deck stands. The cards that are meant for the monthly general Free public reading for the sign of Pisces for February 2019 are the top five cards, the cards for Pisces, a general reading. That's a yes. Okay, it hasn't swayed. That definitely yes. These are your cards. I'm going to pull the camera down so you can watch your spread being laid. Very first card, the overall energy for February, Pisces, Eight of Cups, boy, there's a lot of changes going on for a lot of people in February, I guess you're not alone. Number two, Wealth and Finances, Nine of Cups, <laughs> a wish, can you feel me smile for you guys. Card number three, your hearth, your home, your intimate love, King of the Ocean, and order. Card number four, your challenges. The page of cups, imagination. Card number five, your message from spirit is the page of pentacles and opportunities. There we are. And this is your five card spread for February. There you go, guys. All right. Okay. Very first card. Eight of Cups. Eights being about change. Um, and I always say this with this card. Changes that affect you in an emotional way because it is Cups. It's a water sign. It's all about love and emotions. So these changes affect you. And you feel emotional about the changes that are coming for you in February. These are not going to be changes that turn your whole life upside down overnight kind of changes, good or bad, um, but significant changes like changing a job, changing jobs into something else, that's a significant change. Um, moving, that's a significant change. New relationships, beginning relationships, end relationships. Um, a change in your relationship sector overall for not everybody some of you I don't really even I'm not even feeling um for a few of you or for a lot of you I just some of you that's what I'm getting so there's your card some of you I just see you walking away with with everything being left behind that is no longer serving a purpose in your life People, places, things, um, motivation. They're changing um, the reason, you know, why, you know, the whys. They're changing. Um, and you're walking away. You may take one look over your shoulder going by, going back. But there are things that you're leaving behind. Um, for some of you making a big, big change here, you've all, everybody in your immediate circle already knew this was coming. Therefore, there's no 
huge fanfare. There's no dramatic goodbyes or tearful goodbyes. There's some wish you the best of luck, wish you weren't leaving, and that starts to affect you on an emotional way. But these are changes that are going to cause us a lot of changes coming up for you guys. Um, that is your overall energy for the month. Um, the advice, I always put for those now, I put the advice and the keywords on the bottom of most of the cards. Um, the advice for this for February, and it's sound and it's simple. Follow your heart at this time and go forward. Follow your heart. Your keywords for this card are endings, departures, journeys, transitions, and change. A lot of transitions. Maybe, in the, and for those that don't have a lot, the few that you do have, or even the one that you do have, is going to have a big impact. Absolutely big, big impact. Oh, wow. This card always makes me smile because it brings about real possibilities. It brings about hope, um, belief as well, that we can have whatever it is that we want in this life. I mean, if it's truly not meant to be and not part of our destiny, it won't happen. After a while, you get the, you get the answer loud and clear. But, but we all have wishes. Some wishes are small, some are big. They're as different as and unique as people are. Um, but the nines are about also intensity, over the top, highly exciting, highly active, um, high impact, this sort of thing. It's intense. The word is intense across the board in any way, shape, or form you want to use it and apply it to when it comes to the nines. And here, this is the wish card on top of it. That kind of makes, puts an exciting twist on it. It's a, the card, it represents intensity and it's the wish card. That makes me smile, even though I don't have any Pisces in my chart at all. Um, I still smile for everybody else. This card brings all kinds of benefits along with it. It brings um, benefits of love, friendship, family um, relationships. It brings, for those of you that, that need some kind of a support system at this time, most of you will receive it because you've been wishing for that. Um, and you'll know that your life's a little more solid than what you thought it might have been because a wish is going to come through for you. This wish will also have some of you feeling and wonder of your own inner power, the powers of manifestation, being responsible and acknowledging we all have an inner power. You just have to tap into it. Some of you will have that epiphanous moment and you'll say, wow, this stuff is real. And you become excited. All of a sudden, your whole life takes on a different color and a different hue and a different view and dreams can change thoughts can change um all these things because something has manifested for you in your life you're the one that brought that through therefore your wish has been granted um and it's a wonderful thing for a lot of you it's finding out that you've got a support system whatever it is you need that support for chances are you're going to have exactly what it is that you need and in the end yes yes it, it, it does affect your financial bottom dollar your money flow um it's good your finances okay pisces it's okay it's good there's no there's no nothing negative here with this card at all um this card shows harmony at my uh at harmony at home a new balance settling in over your life. Things feel a little more secure, a little more solid, more of a sure thing. Feeling like you can count on tomorrow. You can bank on tomorrow. Um, all areas of your life are going to flourish. 
You're going to be experiencing contentment that you haven't had in a long, long time and a feeling of fulfillment, almost like, and maybe not quite, but it's along those lines of, I finally know what my life means and why I'm here. I finally get it now. You know, um, what, what a great discovery that is, especially if it's a self-discovery and believing that you're here for a reason, that there's a purpose and you believe that now, that you're not just floating through life with no direction. And we all live, we all die, so what's the point kind of attitude, right? What happens in between, who cares? We all know we're going to work, oh, you know what I mean? That's going to change for some of you. You know what? It's going to bring you great peace, great fulfillment. You're going to be looking at the different layers of love in a whole different way. It's going to mean something different to you. Um, you're going to share that good fortune. Any that comes your way as well, you'll be sharing it with, with others. You're going to be doing a bit more socializing as well. Um, I don't know. Um, okay. Okay. Somebody out there, your birthday this month, or next month, I'm sorry. Um, well, this month, next month, right? But for Pisces, on your birthday, you're going to have a wish granted. There's going to be a celebration. It's like a double whammy celebration because one of your wishes is going to come true. Um, and it's wonderful. It, it really, you're smiling on the inside. When you smile on the inside, that's pretty powerful stuff. All right. I'm very happy for whoever this applies to. Busy though. A lot of socializing going on for you in February. Your keywords for this card are happiness and support, love, harmony, balance, destiny. Um, coming full circle for somebody as well. The final word on this card is abundance. What a great word when it's used in the proper way. And you'll have an abundance of things. Some things for some of you will go better than you had planned. You'll get more than what you bargained for in the in the best of ways. Gosh, Pisces, you're deserving of it. You you pay your dues every day among humanity. You're a good person. Um, very giving, very concerned, very thoughtful, most of you. It's a bad apple on every sign. So, um <laughs> Because there'll be every time I say something really good about a sign, somebody will pipe up in the comments and say, I know a Pisces once. She was the worst bitch I ever met in my life. Nice my ass. Ice queen. You know, and every other descriptive that you can think of that describes the most horrible human being on earth. You know, and it happens. Here's the thing. You don't have to like them. God may love them, but you don't have to like them. You're supposed to. But anyway, that's life. Now we have in your home and your hearth in your home, your sector. You had a lot of emotions running this month with three cups out of five that are cups for you. Three cards out of five that are cups. Um, the king of the ocean. And this is all about getting your home. You, you didn't learn the last time. That's what I heard. You let something slip by. But this time, you're really, you're on, on spot. You're, 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 you're expecting it. You're waiting for it. Um, the opportunity to be given the tools and the resources to um, get your personal life and your home life in order so that you find a balance and everybody's happy with it. So some of you will be working on that. Um, others... This is your chance to start to come up for air after much chaos and upheaval, conflict in your life. He, he shows up. His energy shows up to um, you're getting your break. It's coming in February. You're going to be able to set everything to right again. It's almost like having a room turned upside down. The furniture's all sideways, upside down, hanging from the ceiling through the month of February. It's all a metaphor. 
you're going to be able to set that room all back up the way it was and even better than it was before. So this is your time. You jump on the opportunities and the tools and the resources that come your way to help get something straightened out that affects your personal life. It's going to be okay. You're going to work your way through it. You paid your dues. Everybody's going to move past it and get back into the rhythm of life. Your balance in your life is going to be restored by the presence of this king. You'll be needing, and you've learned some lessons here, Pisces, you will be needing to set some personal boundaries in your life. Restrictions, um, not for so much everybody else, but more for yourself. Putting yourself on time out, putting yourself first. Sometimes it, you have to be cruel to be kind to yourself. You may limit yourself. You may shave some things off your life and some you don't want to let go, but you know that you have to. Setting things to right, putting an end to anything that's off-colored, off-centered, somebody's nose at a joint, an argument, a debate, some of these things you're going to be able to set to right rather than have them hanging over your head. Um, I know what I'm like, even though I'm a cancer. So a Stella water sign. So at the very core of us, we're all the same in Scorpio. Um, but things bother me, especially things that are undone. They're not completed. They're not finished. These things keep me awake at night. For instance, um, three months in a row. I'm late with the readings, but you know what? I've developed the attitude today. I don't care. Nobody's starting without me. That's for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean in that respect? Um, but we have to impose some self-discipline. This is for you, Pisces. Putting in self-discipline. I don't know. It could be anything, anything, whatever it is for you. There will be a sense of, okay, I've got to stop that. I've got to give that away. I've got to give that up. I need to break that. I need to put a stop to this. I need to change that. Um, taking responsibility, that comes with restrictions. Setting your own boundaries for yourself. And if people see you setting boundaries for yourself, they'll respect those boundaries. And they will, they will see it, and they won't cross it. Because they're watching it. They're watching you in action. Something you promised yourself... For some of you, your nose was out of joint about something, and now you're telling yourself it's not worth it. It's not worth the stress, losing sleep over it. And this could be a transition into something new, completely letting go of something. And even though part of you is unnerved by it, you're saying it's wrong to let completely go, but you need to let com completely go. This could be a family. This could be relatives of some kind that every time their name comes up or they're in the picture, there's strife. We've all got them in our lives, all of us. And you got to get on top of that stuff, take control back. You know, somebody talks in a manner or a way that you're uncomfortable with or just sets off fire under you. I know a few people like that. When I want to just say, shut the hell up. Shut up. You know, you're going to have to do that with some people and not tolerate them and slowly push them away from you. Wish them the best. You don't need to hate them. You don't need to be mean to them. But start shaving people out of your life like that so that you only deal with them at reunions and once a year or funerals or something like this it'll make your life a little bit better but it's time for you and again you're you're being in that case almost cruel to somebody else to be kind to yourself you really have to put yourself first a lot more than you do pisces while you're setting boundaries and setting everything to right um make sure you put an end to all those disputes that you may have had and falling out with people you can even, if you're at an impasse with people or somebody, and you know that down the road it will resolve itself, but right now it's not being resolved. 
Therefore, you're going to back away, you're going to drop it, and you're going to let the people know too. I'm done with this. Um, I'm moving on. I don't care who's right. I don't care who's wrong. I don't care. I really don't care. So if you want to take the trophy and go gloat like you won this or something, you knock yourself right out. You know why it's okay with me? Because the universe is watching. Karma can be quite a bitch. I'm feeling sorry for you guys now. That's what you put out there and you get on with your life and do what's right. So, um, you can uh, improve your finances, get to work on them. Some of you have some wiggle room there and you can make things just a tiny bit easier by the end of the day by working with your finances and figuring out some new strategies, we'll say. Um, protect all your assets as well. Um, acknowledge your own inner power. Focus on tasks at hand, your plans, your bucket list, whatever it is. Get focused. That really takes up a lot of your mind. Like right now, people would say to me, you shouldn't be greeting. You shouldn't be doing all this work. It's too soon. There's too much going on. But you know what? I focus here. And this, even though this is exhausting to me mentally, I'm burned right out. When I do readings. I'm able to focus on this. It takes my whole mind, all my energy. It encompasses my spirit. I'm drawn into it. And it's 100% me that is here without all the outer layers, right? So we try to get on top of things. We get in control of things. Because at the end of the day, when I call it a day or call it a night and say it's enough for one day, I feel productive. I feel good. And then my mind, once I stop, my mind slips back into everything else that's going on around me. And um, I'm not in denial. I'm not... Um, cold-hearted by any means. I've been broken a couple times in the last month. and um, But this is a survival mode for me. If I can actually give myself the push to get focused on something so that I can handle everything else. That's it in the bigger picture. You guys, you might try doing the same. Some of your keywords, as I said, are focus and protection, wisdom, organization, because he is all about order, getting your life in order, not just literally your home, but your whole life. Um, authority, and I, I even translate that to being strict with yourself, rules to follow. Leadership and boundaries are part of this card as well setting an example for family members that you're a hard ass more with yourself than you are anybody else. A few people might notice and be impressed. Your next card are challenges, should there be any. You've got the page. And with this page, he's all about fun. He's all about the lighter side of life. Don't get too carried away with this because for those that do, Go the extreme, getting everything in order, the big changes, the discipline. This one here be coming right up your butt behind you, tapping you on the shoulder and saying, Hello, have you forgotten? Life is supposed to be spontaneous and fun sometimes. And you can get to act like a child if you want at times. Don't forget to play. Don't forget to remember you have an imagination celebrate the beautiful side of life even even if the day is not beautiful for you if you stretch a bit even in the darkest of hours there is beauty to be held there is beauty to be held in the human spirit um Somebody, 
some famous writer, I wish I remembered who it was, but it was a man. And he was an artist. And he had said, quote, almost word for word, I'm not sure, it's been a long time. There's nothing more beautiful in the world when you look into a pair of human eyes and they are grieving. Their whole soul is bared. You look into their eyes, they're grieving. And he said, there is nothing more beautiful in the world than that seeing the grief in someone's eyes. You have to go deep to understand that a lot of people would be upset by hearing that. What is so beautiful about somebody where their pain is showing? It's not the pain that is recognizable and deeply impressive. You see someone's true humanity and that is beautiful. You see someone's true humanity wide open to the world. And that is beauty. Um, I don't know where that came from, but that is for somebody. Don't forget the beautiful side of life. Always see what gets me through no matter what I'm going through. I've been through some crap lately, I tell you. Shocking stuff. And say, why me? You have your moments. Why are you doing this to me? Um, for a reason. And I don't understand. So I have complete trust and faith. But this I do know, without having to be told or reminded. No matter what it is that I'm going through, there's always somebody else going through something worse. And that is the truth. And somehow that humbles me. And that in itself is a good thing again. This card's about growth in love of any kind. friendship being highlighted but love growing big big growth spurt with this card and as i said being nudged to enjoy life at its fullest use your imagination as the card said let imagination be your guide where anything is possible in the world it's just us that puts on the limits and restrictions your last card your message from spirit is the Page of Pentacles and Opportunity. So, God, I feel like, do you ever get, do you ever get like that in your head? It feels like there's something moving and there's nothing there. Ugh, it's driving me crazy. This card shows up and this is your message. This is what's going to make you want to keep your head above water and bounce around, tread the water, heads up, you're getting lots of oxygen, lots of air. You can see clearly, um, there's good news coming to you, all right? You need to be aware, you need to be there, you need to be present, you need to be in the now. Mostly aware, don't let anything float by you. The good news could have something for some, some of you to do with waiting for that job, waiting for a new job, um, changing jobs, leaving one job, beginning and already starting another job. That could be it. Good news about money as well. Hey, we're coming into income tax time. Maybe you're getting back a really nice, healthy um, income tax return. Good for you and good on you. Um, so that's to look forward. And you thought you were, let's say, you thought you were only getting back maybe $575. You figured that much out, you know, and they have found more things to give you while doing, you bring it in, you get professionally done your tax return and you find out you have something like 1500 or 1800 coming back. That's great news. It's wonderful. If you've been hoping for a wish to come true again, it's here. For some of you, the wish is financial. Waiting, wanting more money, wanting a raise, wanting a better job with more money. Um, your wish is going to come true. Stay positive. It's coming. Um, some of you may have some paperwork. Loose ends to tie up by the end of February. 
um, there's a deadline and a date and you have to meet that. These are things that there's no choice. You have to take care of the paperwork. I don't know what that is. No idea. But my goodness, Pisces, doesn't matter how big it is, how small it is, what even the impact is, there's a good opportunity for at least everyone through the month of February and it's onus is on you to grab it when it's going by no matter how small no matter how big don't dismiss the small stuff never dismiss the small stuff there you go Pisces sorry about the length their readings are long again um, I hope you enjoyed that gave you some guidance or entertained you at the very very least uh, if you'd like to join us on Facebook we're there as well please join the channel as well subscribe so you don't miss any of the readings and um, on Facebook, we're under Groups, Bay of Fundy Fortunes. And um, be careful that you don't just stop at Bay of Fundy because there's another Facebook page and group on Facebook. And that's what it's called, Bay of Fundy, because it's about the literal bay out here in my backyard. So um, it's closed group. It's private. Anything goes on in there stays in there. It's very warm and it's very relaxing. With what I've been going through um, lately, um, it's kind of put a dent in the chat. Everybody's kind of like holding back a little bit. It's just a respect thing, right? And it's all good. I still want people to smile and have fun and to laugh. Don't maybe expect it from me so much. Just respect my personal space and everybody else can go to it. Anyways, you can join us there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if you want a personal reading with me, I do. I do that. And if you look below this video window, you'll see in, in the show more section. Um, just read through once and take it from there. Also, um, most people, when they're looking for me, they find me right here. And if I'm not right here, in the warmer parts of the year, nicer days than this one, it's sunny and blue sky today, but it's cold. You'd find me down at the cove down below here on the beach walking along the water's edge that bring the highest, mightiest tides on the whole planet. That's quite a thing to claim. And it's right there in my backyard. It's my inspiration. Um, no matter where you find me, chances are you'll always find me watching the Bay of Funday and waiting on the next low tide or the high tide. It never stops. It never ends. Just like your life. Just like your spirit. Into infinity. Wish you the best. For the month of February, please keep your love in and your light aflame so you can share that love out with the rest of the world. Be kind to somebody today. Pay something forward. And don't hurt a bit. See you next time.